Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 28th of 2020 well, it is titled NGC 6188, the dragons of Ara. So what are these dragons? Well, Ara, first of all, is a constellation in the southern sky. And these dragons happen to be located within it. Of course, they're not real dragons. They are actually just shapes within the clouds. And if you use your imagination, you may be, may be able to make out some dragons within this uh, area. Now, when we look at this, we're actually seeing a, a region of star formation and in fact, a great emission nebula. And in this case, we're looking at the emission of three different elements, sulfur, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. So it's really a false color image. The sulfur emission is in red, hydrogen in green and oxygen in blue. So it's show, highlighting the emission of those three specific elements. And that is where material is being excited by hot stars that have already formed. Now this is a portion of a molecular cloud. And when star formation occurs through a molecular cloud, it begins on one edge of it. And that will usually happen through a collision of clouds. If two clouds collide together, that will compress things and start star formation, or through a supernova explosion. And the intense shock wave will compress material on one edge of the molecular cloud, initiating the star formation. And once that happens, new stars will form and their great stellar winds will continue the process. Some of them will be massive enough to go supernova themselves. And eventually over many millions and millions of years that will propagate through the entire molecular cloud. But we see only a snapshot of it at any given time because the process of star formation is very slow, uh, maybe actually fast astronomically speaking. But for us to watch, it takes many millions of years for stars to be able to form. And that's part of what we're seeing here is some of the dark denser knots are where stars are still in the process of forming today. And the emission is actually the glowing gases that we see that is are excited by the hot stars that have already formed. So some stars have already formed and are exciting the gases around them, compressing more material and causing more star formation. And those stars in the future, if we could come back in hundreds of thousands or a million years or so, would begin to we'd have new stars there, new emission, and the material, the star formation would propagate further into the molecular cloud. And that process would continue until all of the material was finally used up. But again, that process could take tens, hundreds of millions of years or more to be able to finally work its way through that molecular cloud again, depending on exactly how big it is. So here we have a chance to see a glimpse of some of that star formation, at least a snapshot of it as to what is going on right now. So that was our picture of the day for July the 28th of 2020. It was titled NGC 6188 the dragons of Ara. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.